Hello everybody, I'm Yvette of DIY Uniquely Yvette. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This week we're going to have a simple and quick project that I think you're going to love. If you like what you see in this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, please comment below what you think of the project. Let's get into it. Okay, what I have here is a template for a cat lying on its side. It, this is going to be a fence sitter, a cat fence sitter. But um, I didn't have any board big enough, so I put together these strips of board and glued them. I'm going to use my carbon paper to trace the template on both of them and make them as close to identical as possible. Also, I'm going to make two of these because I want to see the cute cat on my side of the fence and I want the cute cat to be on the other side of the fence with the neighbors. Okay, we have everything cut out and sanded and I realized that one of these would have to be if they were going to go back to back and hang on the, um, the fence like this with the fence in the middle and each one on each side of the fence then one would have to be opposite I didn't realize that when I was cutting them out so I was cutting it out on the nice pretty side of the wood you know that will cut it and so i ended up with one that was going to need to be on the ugly side i guess that's this one it's not an ugly ugly because it's you know but it's more flawed like with this gouge in here see i would have chosen well maybe not <laughs> anyway i would have chosen overall the better side of the wood if i'd realized ahead of time that one would have to be backward you know, because they would go like this and one would be opposite. I also cut out a tail. I completely forgot to do the whiskers or the snout or whatever it's called of the cat. So I did two of those for each of the cats. We're going to be using this black apple barrel paint, this white apple barrel paint, and this granite gray apple barrel paint and this um, red golden acrylics paint. everything generally where I want it to go. 
I'm going to finish the face with the eyes and a little tongue here, I think, after I glue this little nose thing in place. Here's our cute little kitties. Aren't they adorable? And that's the last thing to do is to put this protective coat on top of them. It's matte clear enamel. I always put a protective coat on the pieces I put outside. I don't always do it if I'm keeping my project inside, but I always do it outside. I have several pieces out there that have been there for a long time. One has been there for years and the paint almost looks like it did when I first put it on. So definitely I do protect my pieces when they're going outside. I just don't show it on the screen. I don't like showing myself doing that for some reason. It's just not part of the fun of creating the project itself. So that's what I'm going to do. The next thing you'll see is when I figure out how to hang the two cats back to back on the fence. Okay y'all, I couldn't think of a better way to do this. So what I'm going to do is glue a board here to the back of one, put some glue on the other side and sit him on top. And then when I'm ready to hang this on the fence, this board will sit flush with the top of the fence. Mm -hmm. 